Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. The S&P 500 was up 0.9% today. Uh, tech led the way today. Uh, big rally in tech. Uh, NASDAQ was up 1.2%. Semiconductor specifically uh, had a really good day today based on some reports for forward-looking guidance. Uh, the SOX index uh, ETF, uh, SOXX, that uh, we use in some of our portfolios was up over 3% today. Uh, so it's a good day, especially after the last two days where we had a couple of down days. You know, there's some catalysts out there that are kind of interesting because number one, uh, first time unemployment claims came in. They were quite low, lower than expected. So less people are applying for unemployment. That's another good sign of, you know, a strong economy. Uh, we also had the uh, mortgage rates uh, drop down to about an eight month low. Uh, which is a good thing. Obviously, housing and making houses and selling houses and what have you is a really big engine in our economy. So uh, having those rates come down could help uh, as far as that goes. Uh, and so we've got, you know, a couple different things going on. We had the uh, Congress, you know, passing a resolution to fund the government, uh, which is another thing I think that drove the market today. So a lot of good things are happening. Uh, hopefully, you know, we got a little bit enough of a downturn to kind of create some buying, to get some momentum, uh, to maybe finally get back through this, you know, uh, all-time high. Uh, we'll see here. There's, you know, still some adjustments that are going to be made here as the, as the you know, uh, market takes a look at what's going on. Economy stronger than expected. Rate drop is, you know, maybe not going to happen in March. Matter of fact, one of the Fed governors today came out and said pretty much what I said yesterday, looking at like July, September uh, timeframe for rate cuts, uh, which has been my impression from the beginning. I was a little surprised to see the market expecting a rate cut in, in uh, March as far as that goes. Uh, uh, and actually a couple rate cuts by July and September. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. Market, you know, should be able to readjust to that fairly easily. This is not a really big deal. It causes, you know, kind of a daily volatility uh, as far as that goes, but uh, nothing, you know, too bad. The momentum is still on the upside. Uh, the uptrend, primary uptrend is still soundly in place uh, as far as that goes. And I think we're just kind of going sideways here a little bit, just to, you know, settle in before we maybe make another run. We'll see how that goes. But so far, so good. Uh, got some Middle East tensions. We'll have to pay attention to those and see what happens there. Uh, oil is a big deal in this economy, uh, and it's a big deal during an inflationary time period. That's uh, really kind of the, one of the problems that they had in the 70s when inflation, you know, reinflated and got back out of control. So a different situation now than the 70s because the U.S. does produce so much oil. Uh, we actually are net exporters of oil, uh, so that does help uh, you know, control the price a little bit. Uh, but you know, still something to watch for. Uh, look forward to seeing what's going to be happening tomorrow. Of course, we do our show tomorrow on uh, Talk Money with Tom on YouTube, 12, 15 to one o'clock. It's live. Uh, I give a summary with Ethan, you know, about what we saw happening in the market uh, for the week. Uh, and then you can obviously ask questions at any time. Uh, happy to answer those. Uh, be able to kind of, you know, answer anything that you can think of uh, live during the, during the show. I uh, look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much.